Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 64 from season 45 Chalice. We have got more Dreed uh, with his Orcs and Diomed with his Undead. No, they're not Undead, they're Necromantic. Oh my god, it's this game. <laughs> oh, you sound excited already, Jim. I am. In the booth is Purple Chest and Muppet Pac-Man. Hello, hello. Hello, Jim. What a treat we're in for here. <laughs> yes. Let's try I have to not, not seen be this nasty. Game. Let's try to not be nasty, please, because I don't want to upset people. Um, oh. but there good, you go. good coaches here with some well built teams. A lovely little old team, lots and lots of strength on it. Uh, and a very rowdy necromantic team. It's, uh, it's got a nice eating wolf there that can pop if it chooses. Yep. And both. it chooses. Yeah, both great coaches, no offence, um, but yeah, this was a huge commitment, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, the, the Necromantic team is is a bit rubbish compared to the Orcs, but it's because the Orcs are incredible, right? Like, the Orcs are incredible. Yeah, strength yeah. 4, strength 5, strength 5, guard everywhere. It's an absolute I monster. the ordinary blitz. I mean, you, right. could, you could certainly put 200 TV more on this Orc team, mighty blow up all of those Black Orcs. And put another skill on each of the blitzers, um, but for a team that hence makes it a tiny bit lightweight, but really, really nice to. Yeah, yeah, it's not um, very hitty, is it? Only a couple. No, it really of, isn't. Only, well, three mighty blow. The the funny thing is, he was pretty close, right? Twenty six on that one, and uh, twenty seven on that one. So he was actually pretty close to another couple of mighty blows. But the orc race was very tight, wasn't it? It was another very tight race, and perhaps we'll see them skill up during this uh, this game, because of course. Necromantic, not very high on the armor, lots of AV8 around. And lots of things that are going to have to stand to and take hits from a, a much stronger old team again. Yeah. Um, and this Pobby Wolf, who uh, seems to be quite happy to throw himself on the ground at the feet of these orcs. <laughs> yeah. I do wonder if the, the orcs could have been a bit, a bit rowdy, you know, get a bit of pressure on. I would have liked to have seen a bit of pressure on the, the fact that this was such a huge commitment to make this quarter cool pump hit. I'd yes. Like it, a bit more heat on. It's. I mean, I'm going to call it a very aggr positive, aggressive decision, Jimmy. Um, he did move an enormous amount of his team in to get that hit with the wolf. Uh, it did work, but it left an incredibly thin screen for this pickup, didn't it? Yeah. Now, it is an AG4 ball carrier he's got with sure hands. So, I mean, it was a 1 in 36 to not do the pickup. Yeah. But as you said, it was very sort of pressurable. You could have got some orcs into that space if you'd really chosen to and wanted to. Yeah. But then, of course, uh, if you do... You make everything else weaker, so you know it's 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 yeah. not it's not as if it's wrong or anything, is it? There's a surf on here, isn't there? Just really. Yes. Yeah. The orcs choose to, to stand up and be strong, uh, which is something they can do very well. Yeah. Ooh. And he gets the kill. Don't think we'll see a pylon. There is a babe. Oh wow, we see an apple. Mm, with the babe, and not a fan of it. No. Is there multiple apples, Jim? There's only one apple. That is his one apple game for the gun. Game for the, oh, game for game the gun. For the gun. That's his one well, apple I, game for the gun. Then I, <laughs> I think that's insane. But, I mean, I'm all for a rowdy apple, but that's not that key a piece, is it? It's, it's not, but I, I, I remember the, watching this game live now. It's actually pretty. It's actually pretty interesting when you think about this apple afterwards. It does shore up this sideline, and he, you know, he does come in and he is trying to shore it up. And having that player there is just about enough to make it a bit trickier for the necro to come down. And like his team is better, bigger, and stronger, isn't it? It's better, and it's like he is like kind of like you know choking the life out of the necromantic offense. Yeah. So there's a okay. certain something to be said for still having this here. Like if this isn't here. Yep. It's a lot easier to blitz this guy and move down the sideline. With that, with this yes. guy still on the pitch, what, where do you go and what do you do as the necro? Uh, it's some big brain thinking, Jim. It's, it's about where it stands up in two turns' time. That's what you're telling me. Yeah. Um, and is there a threat that will both shore up that edge and mean that if the necro have pushed up there, there's something they haven't dealt with? Um, yeah. Meanwhile, uh, the orcs have just busily just ended the necro. So. Yeah. Just punch stuff and punch more stuff. Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? Weight of blocks. Uh, how, how, you can't compete with this orc team on weight of blocks because they're, they're no. so strong and they've got so much guard. It's, it's yeah. horrendous. Some stand firm would have been amazing but, on this orc team. 
But what you can do <laughs> is pom somebody and, and instantly kaz him, and then he can think, why the fuck did I just use my apple on a shitty bloody KO when I've got a babe? I could have used it on this guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the babe does swing that slightly more in the it was a bit gratuitous, a uh, rowdy apo, but I suppose you can't see the future unless you're facing a claw popping wolf that shows it's going to pop at every opportunity. Well, yeah. You pretty much can see the future. <laughs> but but this helps, this is better for the drive, right? At the end of the day, yes, Apoing this is better for the match, but 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 for the drive, the, he's still gone even when you Apo him, isn't he? And and this guy is now in for the drive, and, and he's, he's holding up the sideline, so... He's holding it up, but at the same time he's also stuck on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know, yeah. You have to commit some players over there to get and there's him still out. two wolves, which means anything you commit there is likely to get surfed. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. he's not problem free. Well, he's Jim. not That's blitzing with him, here. isn't that? I would have thought. Yeah, he's I blitzing guess. him out, though. He's blitzing. Yeah, but you him need out. a power because he's stand firm. That was pretty. He does powerful. need a power. Gets the power. Or if not, it's a four three, but which you have to try. <laughs> okay, gets out. Good. <laughs> I'm sure that player will do great things in this this half. Yeah, yeah. Hit not fouling the the wolf. Yeah, he had the bribe. He probably should have fouled even with a good player. Yeah, it, it, something needs to keep that in the face. But then you can't free the guy on the edge except by the four plus three plus, which with AV nine is probably the way I would have done it because I would have wanted to put my foot into that wolf. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, but I would have just turned it the other way around. Put the uh, tackle guard. To do the assist on the guy on the side, and then yeah. Yeah. once I've done that blitz, if I see I've powered him, I can go foul with the lineman. Yes, yeah, that's to be fair. Point. I seem to recall that's exactly what I said as we were watching this <laughs> the first time through. I think that is the plan I said then. So yeah, I, I absolutely support that plan, Muppet. In retrospect, and indeed ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But you know, now this guy's this guy's look. He's he's doing something. He's there. He's active. Yeah. He's he's defending. It's like it's turn four, right? It was a super early KO. It's it really is a lot of value for the drive that he appled that guy. Um, so yeah, it's hard to argue with now. Oh god. Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah tackle mighty. He's got central to deal with wolves. So it's yeah. Tackle might be more plan. valuable. I'm still yeah. not sure I'd have done. No, yeah, no, I don't think I would have done. But I think it was a great plan for the drive. Um, just not for much. This is maybe a bit of a mistake here. This this could be the overcommit, right? Yeah. yeah, this is absolutely. I think this was. I don't mind the first two putting the pressure directly on the ball, but it's an AG four. Yeah. And the even push. with this, you've still only given it a, a three plus two plus to be out. Now here, I, I quite like if this ends as I think it's going to. Yeah, right there. Yeah. I do quite like doing the three plus three plus and blitzing that uh, fend tackle piece. Yeah. So he did. He, he did a three-three-two. He did a three-three-two. Yeah, so it was, it was just literally harder rolls. It would have been yeah. better. It was so much better to do the three-three three, three and, and blitz him. it. And if it if it's a if it's a one in nine, then you do the two plus and dodge off. But if it powers him, it's fantastic. You freed up the other ghoul. Yeah. If it pushes him, you free. You've still got off three. yourself. You and then you freed the do well the wolves have ways out basically. Yeah, yeah, you free three players, right? This guy's trapped. Yeah. This guy's trapped. You you free both yeah. of them to come with you. The the yeah. alternative to doing the blitz. Even a push. The that's the that's yeah. the great thing about it is even a push does that. Yeah. Uh, Whereas the, the power frees the goal entirely. Yeah, your alternative is to come out the back, right? This is yeah. the worst of all worlds because you're going three yeah. three two. If you come out the back, it's only a three two. Um, yep. whereas this is a 3-3, three, three, so it's a bit harder. Now, the first one hasn't got tackle anyway, which makes the 3-3 three, three not, not that much worse than the 3-2 anyway. So, absolutely. yeah, I think the 3-3 three, three and hit was absolutely the best play, and I think what he did was, was a lot worse. Yeah, so it's a hard 3, soft 3, and then a move is brilliant, um, but a power is fantastic. And instead, it's a, um, one, it's a 1D blitz, which traps both yeah, wolves even more. Yeah, which traps the wolves worse. Yeah. And just doesn't give you quite enough covering this ghoul that I would like. Yeah. Although, if I was the Orcs, I would have loved this push jump at the back with this tackle instead of like committing. If I, yeah, I've, I think he overcommitted. He, he, he needed one of these two forward and one of these two yeah. back. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the problem with that is that there's too little at the back, and he, you know, the Necro could have dropped back and clawed them. But yeah. it's this was not very good from the orcs but a, a pretty terrible response from the necro because they could have got out of this so much stronger yeah. 
and look at the terrible position they've put themselves in right now. I mean, it, it, again, lots of ways it could be weaker, but so much could have been done better there. Oh, God, Ooh, I didn't like that. No, no need to do the blockers block. He could have used the lineman to come around. Like, you know, he could have freed the line. Freeing the lineman was just as good as yep. freeing this guard. What he was trying yeah. to do was to, with, with that, um, what he was trying to do was to uh, get either the guard in or tag this guy so that he could have chained the tackler and then the tackler would have blitz that's what he that's what he's mm -hmm. trying to do and then when he when he didn't get that knockdown on the stand firm it meant he had to just do the dodge but he what he what but the thing was it just was it was just better to hit with the black oak because if he hits with yep. the black oak this lineman can come and cancel the defensive assist which is just as good as the as the black oak coming in with the guard yeah. so he, he didn't need to do a blockless block and he could have like put the lineman in between the, that down zombie as well so he's stopping two plays yeah he didn't need the guard for anything. So a couple of, a couple of sort of not great turns both ways there, really. Yeah. You know, the Orcs slightly overcommitted, got themselves out of position, still don't really seem to be coming up with much better plans than just being stronger. Um, and the Necro just missed an opportunity to respond better, left themselves weak, but the Orcs failed to take advantage of it by picking out a, a bad block, which rebounded on them. Pile on, pile on the KO, because that, that's fair enough, right? It comes back eight times out of nine. Absolutely and it is his yeah. 4K. Yeah, I did. yeah, I'm fine with it. And yeah, that, that was his ball carrier. Uh, Purple Chest talked about not even fielding it on defense. Uh, then it would yeah, we did have spare orcs, around. didn't we? Yeah. And I, it, it's so vital, because he doesn't have a Mr. Thrower, much like a line Mr. Thrower, you do the other options. And whilst you can carry on the Goblin, I'm not sure I would against something as incredibly fast as Wolves. So I think, yeah, we need to keep our Mr. Carrier a lot safer than that. And he was one of the ones that was part of the overcommitment. Yeah. Who should have perhaps been one of the ones cycled to the back as a cover piece. Also, he could have had a DP on, which threatens the uh, pile on yeah. even more. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, here we go. Surf here, maybe. Sure, it looks like, like we want it. to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you didn't want to, you'd have taken the both down there and hit with the white. As you haven't managed to free it, which was the only other thing you were doing, and you weren't. You were setting up this surf. Pylon even better. Literally even better, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was it was all good options there. This black orb was in so much trouble. This was but the only get stunned. Very good result for the Orcs. Is he just going to go in on turn seven here? Because there's no, there's no screen or anything, is there? Uh. I mean, he's blodge. He could just tough it out against that lone line orc and get out the range of the others. But it looks like he's going. I don't think he can get out range of push jump. Okay, so he's leaving the Orcs too. Should be fine, shouldn't it? it should there's no be. goblin. It's possible. There's, there's no goblin for the one turn. And there's no sure hands guy, but it's possible, right? Like any any team can score in two turns. Yes, but without troll and goblin, it's it's a bit heartbreaking, isn't it? It won't be joyous. <laughs> yeah. It's not but of easy. course, it's doable. Yeah, it's um, not easy, but it's doable. What assets do we have? We've only two blitzers left. Yeah. Yeah. Three we are getting kind of slow. We're not very fast, Jim. No. Five line orbs. Okay, so three blitzers, five line orbs. But it's not over. Nobody say it's over. <laughs> it's a long, long way to go. Well, at least we've got we've got lots of numbers. The necro getting a bit on the ground, aren't they? Yeah. No, no, they're at full numbers too. Okay, <laughs> so we're still eleven versus eleven, right? Yeah. But the the orcs are capped at eleven. That's the thing, isn't it? They are. Yeah. The still have Bowling looks one. a lot worse now. And, and also the Orcs have lost better players, right? The Orcs, the Orcs have lost a Blodge guard, Mighty Blow, and Blitzer, and a guard tackle, sure hands Blitzer, and replaced them with like rookie linemen. Ooh, a three turn is a lot. Oh no, it's a one turn. <laughs> yeah, so he goes the half of one. About Riot. I really hate that about Riot. God, that's so annoying. A few good isn't? changes uh, to the kickoff results, which I think have been over nerfed. Uh, is that Riot is now always forwards in the first six turns and always backwards if it's in the last two. I think that's the right way around. Yeah, I think that's a good change. <laughs> it 
it's not as easy as everyone thinks. Just click Mr. Throw quick answer. <laughs> Oh, here we really? go. Foul on the fleshy does nothing. It's a nice necro team, isn't it? Block guard fleshies is absolutely what you want. Pom, yeah. a, pom wolf is crazy. Agile. I think cool. I think that one on the floor is niggled, which is sad. But I, I, you know, I'm not sure I would want to pom with my wolf gym. That's very contentious. But it's certainly it's a choice. It is a, a useful piece, but it's so risky. Gives you gives you an I win condition against like it, it gives you a win condition against this orc team, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like oh, I, I think Claw Mighty is is on a wolf is, is joyful, but putting it on the ground is such an expensive piece to be grounded and under the orcs' feet. And the orcs <laughs> this half are being forced, of course, to actually have their dirty player on the field. Oh no! <laughs> they may have to use it. Well, they don't have to. Muppet, but it, they may. <laughs> we may see that. I mean, to me, or you, it might be the most key piece they've got, the only way to deter a claw pommer and the only way to deal with it, and it's the piece they need to neutralise and get rid of in order to win the game. But to them, it's just a rookie line up with a terrible skill, apparently. <laughs> How yep. you bench that for the whole first half, Jim? Yeah. It always annoys me, like... People make their own teams, they know what skills they're picking, yet half of them, they don't use all the skills. Yeah, yeah. that's the strangest thing, and like, I know we like, we joke about when, with, you know, the chugs and the positional blitz instead of the mighty blow blitz, but yeah. honestly, you see some people and you're like, why aren't you blitzing with your mighty blow tackler? You have given him mighty blow tackle, blitz with the guy you have given mighty blow tackle to. <laughs> like, it's not, like, it's, that's the weirdest thing, isn't it? That they've literally given these skills themselves. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not the funny answer, but the funny answer to that is, of course, you should be blitzing with your mighty blow at all turns, in every single circumstance, unless there's a better option. Yeah. Um, and often there is a better option tactically or for where the team needs to go, but if there isn't, then it should probably be that you're doing a mighty blow blitz somehow or somewhere. Yeah, there's like positional blitzes and attritional attrition exactly. blitzes and positional yeah, blitzes. Exactly. And, so and ideally, you want to combine those. Yep. <laughs> but sometimes you've got you've got to choose one or the other, and and, exactly. and it's it you know either could be right. Some good LS blocks at least we could uh, maybe get a touchdown in if we've remove enough stuff. Yep. Uh, I don't like putting that by there. No, the necker is set up a tiny bit further back than normal, which normally I call the dwarf trap space, because a team as slow as, say, dwarves or cavalry do struggle to attack something in the ruler five boat, call it whatever you will, if they are even one space further back. And if they do, it tends to leave pieces there that the other team can sort of get all over, monster and fat. Um, but here, they were never likely to come forwards, and they didn't. And, and now it just you know, doesn't seem to have achieved anything. It's a, it's a choice, but one without a lot of reason. Beautiful uh, Necro blitz here into the stand for... And then the dodge away, classic. Uh, meaning, of course, that when you get the hit, you can not have to dodge away. But of course there, whilst it was that Necro blitz, meaning that it was 2 die into 2 die. Um, even a power blitz still did the dodge away. So yeah, the absolute classic Necro blitz. It is looking similar to turn 1. It's, it's looking like the Skaven defence from the other game we've just done. <laughs> but yes, the Orcs aren't going to do at, that. At, yeah. least, no, at least there was an aggressive move in here. Um, and the difference here is there are a couple of Black Orcs that wouldn't be able to swing around to that left side. Yeah. Um, so you would be at least leaving them half behind, which is yeah. early in the drive to do that. Yeah, it's, it's, Ooh, Jim, it's the exact with three Dyson? Well, hey... Yeah, it's hard not to do with strength five, isn't it? But yeah, <laughs> uh, my my high elf loves to three dice people. <laughs> Doesn't always do anything, or very rarely does anything. Hello, Hansi. <laughs> uh, but you know, it, it happens sometimes. But yeah, I think this was definitely the right idea to blob up and uh, you know, rather than try. I think that kind of was trap space, funnily enough, when you've got slow ass orcs. Dirty player foul gets the removal. No assist. 
but just just been the bribe. No, Mr. Um, Thrawn, no, I see. He also yeah, lost his sure hands guy. Have we lost PC or is he just. It, it sounds weird when you're not talking PC. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not used to. Not used to. <laughs> sounds bad, but genuinely, I was like. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I like that. You know, he puts in the stand firm there, doesn't he? So he can, he yep. can hit him. And, and again, I mean, that is key to the, the Necro Blitzers, isn't it? Which is why you do see a lot of people go guard stand firm on their whites. Got four yes, oh, also system. because it is a control-based team as well as, you know, with the hitting wolves. Um, so leaning into that and exaggerating it with the whites makes perfect sense. But what about this dodge? And there! Oh. Like, th Not this, there's one mighty blow on the orc team. Like, obviously, one, one yeah. of the mighty blows is the ball carrier. You've got one mobile mighty blow. You've moved most of your players over here. And this fleshy dodges? Like, that's... That seems so crazy to me. It, I, it's very hard to understand, Jim. A, a dodge straight backwards, we could sort of say he didn't want the hit. Um, yeah. But there it does look like he's trying to see the, the defence, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And do exactly what we saw in the last game, which is not defend an entire flank. Yeah. Um, and look at all this traps. This time, no wizard. <laughs> yeah, there's no wizard and there's no gutters. <laughs> so this is... Uh... Yeah. No AG5 wolf. Yeah. What there is instead, of course, is pieces that feel they can dominate the edge of a, of a field. So yeah. perhaps if he can get all the orcs over here and then bring his stand firms and frenzies in, perhaps he can get some sexy surfing going. Or, or, or maybe just claw pom, right? I guess you can you can think from Diamond's point of view here, this is a very strong orc team. If you just try and bang with them, you know, he, 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 you're going to come unstuck. So by by just you know relegating yourself to overtime at best, <laughs> you can maybe pick up a Kaz like that with a send off. Uh, you know they are capped at eleven the Orcs. If you can just nibble at the edges, pick off a player with with a cheeky claw pom blitz every turn, you know, and like just not care about the ball. But I, I guess I guess yeah, just playing for attrition. It's a, it it's not what I would do, but now when you look at how few players he's got actually, you know. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe so. I'm not a big necromantic player myself, and it's they they can disappear, can't they? And he isn't that long on his own bench. Perhaps he does feel, you know, remove some orcs and uh, and win in overtime is is more or less assured. Yeah, I mean, now he's got seven. Like he had eight before he just lost the fleshy, didn't he? No, he hasn't. Yeah, yeah, he's just lost the fleshy. Before he lost the fleshy, he's had eight, and I think yeah. normal defense was quite reasonable. But he, he already gave up that before he lost the fleshy. But now, now that you're down the fleshy, I think, I think just not even trying to defend and, and, and just trying to nibble, nibble at the edges. Wow, is kind of Jimmy, he's not been lucky with some of his hits too. No, that was six, um, six so dice. Six dice there, not getting a power. Yeah, he did greed that. Now I hate the greed. I hate the greed. Because especially in overtime format. Yeah, he's taking the decision to play for overtime. Uh, you know, which which means Kekwadi, whether you hit the term yes, or not, it does. comes into play, and then to to do that is is wild. And also, Jim, he'd already taken the decision clearly not to dodge off, but bring the other wolf in to defend him, which yeah. didn't help at all. Just gets the other wolf stuck on the same, or <laughs> and the black orc that's come to join the party. Yeah, it just means one gets um, three deed and the other gets two deed with tackle. <laughs> yeah, I mean it certainly should. <laughs> oh, dumb scores. It's enough to bang it out. Oh, really? Uh, of course, he's going to be full punished with no wolf even stunned. Yeah. Yes, of course he is. Of course he is, because that's how life should work. And now there's an option here. Look look at this. Look at this hit here. There was an option there. Just hit with this block, block uh, zombie. And then he could have got back the, the, the move seven, blodge ghoul. Move six, uh white right they can both come yep. in here this yep. guy can dodge these guys could dodge and come around and he could have got a lot he could have got five players in between yeah, the I'm, three I'm players this ball, with yeah, ball. split this all team right in half yeah I a think lot of pressure what, i think that's what he should have done personally but he hasn't gone for it he has completely given up on defending yes this is this is all attrition isn't it 
Well, and wolf defence, I suppose, which is a you know a good a valid reason as to why some of this might be happening. But. And there's another Kaz. I mean, <laughs> to be fair to Diamond, when when you've taken the team and you've cast three of his four blitzers. <laughs> yeah. So do you know what? I, I I know what I'm doing. There's a plan. Yeah. And it certainly looks like there is. Yeah, he's got to think himself favoured in overtime. The problem is, of course, no matter how favoured you are in overtime, if you lose the toss, there's a good chance against a good coach they're going to grind down and score on you. Lose the toss without a wizard as well. <laughs> yeah. But like, that's the thing, you're 50-50 to lose the toss. And, and you know, the, the opposing coach doesn't have to stall till turn eight. They've just got to score. And, and, and when you're, like, you know, obviously they're both good at Blood Bowl, these two guys, and... and if you're just trying to score, it gets a lot easier. Yes. Um, I, I, if there's not many fewer orbs, I think overtime's going to get extremely challenging. <laughs> because you've got to think there's going to be at least two rolls on the Necromantic that are knocked out. Which is going to see them, I'd have thought, are pretty close to it, if not at full strength. Yeah. Um, and the problem for the orbs is that some of those things are not coming back. They have no way to replace them, so you can be as strong as you want. If there's five players standing around you, you're probably going down still. Yeah, classic. Um, we have a blitz there, by the way. <laughs> Don't yeah, try it. it's and yet they've all worked, but one, as I recall, so far. Mm. Though mostly he's been sensible enough to not get himself uh, wedged on. To, I say he. I don't know that. This coach has made the bid sense enough to not get themselves wedged on into anything for you know too long to yeah. Ooh, trying to retain those choices. But yeah, I mean there's very few orcs on the field, isn't there now? This is looking really bad. Really bad. Like two on the bench for the yeah. and the and the two KO rolls. So, you know, his, his, his tactic of not defending at all. Uh, Seems to have paid off just fine, yeah. yeah. But he can lose the toss, and if he does lose the toss... However, Jim, this is surely the turn to put a bit of pressure on and get yourself two... You've got two wolves. Two turns against less than 11 orcs with two wolves. You should be winning. Yeah, well, yeah. Instead, we're just saying, OK, we're going to wait for overtime and you'll have no-one left, which it, it looks like it might work, but... Still an odd decision to run, even what little asset was towards the rear out of the out of picture altogether. Well, I think if you're not going to do it on that other turn before, you're never going to do it, right? That was like that yes, was probably crazy, so. that was a crazy strong turn. He would have had like three players and then five players. It would have been immense, but it was. And you know, he obviously might have failed the dodge rolls and everything, but yeah. he would have definitely got two players back, and yeah. he could have got five. So you can get a little claw bomb in here, can't you? Yeah, brings the wolf back into jeopardy. He might just decide to keep it completely safe for overtime. Yeah, he could That's just record it. Set of games. Yeah, 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 weird. This this wolf isn't really doing anything, is it, other than no. offering itself up as a sacrifice? Which can be incredibly useful. Yeah. Does he just bang it in? Yeah. Oh, make it works. One turn chance for the uh, Necro. Do you think they'll try in one turn, or do you think they'll just try and claw bomb? <laughs> um, I don't think they'll do even a go for it. They just don't like risking things. <laughs> when you plan for overtime, you goddamn go for overtime. <laughs> yeah, I think he. I think he absolutely. I mean, I think he should. You know, what I mean, I think Edge three, even against like a weak a weak back line like this. You know, only eight players for the Orcs there. Nine max for overtime. I think uh, I think you've just got to just got to maximise hits. To be fair, I think, I think it's really low chance. Maybe if you get a riot or a quick snap, but 
Otherwise, yes, I think I'd, I'd want to be ready for a, to take advantage of a riot. Yeah. Because that's not hard to set up for whilst letting you do anything else that you want to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Setting up to one turn and a quick snap. Um, if I felt I could do it and retain the blitz, I would definitely have a go, yes. And I'd probably have the numbers to do that, so maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Stop, it... I used to do that every game in, in Fumble. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Funk. So, yeah, I got 3D here. Uh, not unlike the best player. No, it is the best player. He's, yeah. He's so, three dice in the best player, Kazza's in. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, he's well, it's how it should be done if it can be done that way. Yeah, absolutely correct. And look, Jim, it was the third dice that got him. There you go. Love, love to see a, a three dice when there's when there's absolutely no excuse for not making three D. So, lovely to see that. Is he gonna? He can't foul surely because he's moved his dirty player in. And also, he's not going well, to. He could always foul with just trash, can't he? He could, but he, no, he yeah, can't. I guess it's got blow. No, no, he can't foul. <laughs> no, there's, there's no orbs left. <laughs> there's one on the other side. You can go foul that. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a massacre. Well, here we go. Overtime. <laughs> Six Kaz dogs. Oh, no, five Kaz in the sender. And then the KO stays out on a 3 plus. Wow. And the KO oh, stays on 4 pluses. Boy, howdy. The K or Bay doesn't provide a lot of value. No. The fouls were pretty shit as well. Both of them got him sent off, but he had a bribe to save for the first one. Yep. But the Necro do lose the overtime toss. Ooh. So. How many orbs is it? Six. Six. Uh, let's have a look oh, that's three. very hard to see how that gets done. Ten, ten Necro. And six orcs. <laughs> you need to get two removals this turn at least, and even then. Even oh, then, they're just yeah, zombies. Yeah. And, and four of them are black orcs as well. <laughs> so they're really strong, but they're really slow. And he's only got two players that can realistically handle the ball. It's two strength five, three strength four, and a single strength three rookie line orc. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, they're, they're really strong, to Brilliant. be fair. <laughs> you ever pick up on the strength five black orc? <laughs> Sorry, I just strength five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, J five there. Uh, oh, and look at this. This was a bit unnecessary, wasn't it? The uh, weak, weak to the side, weak to the quick snap. It doesn't really do much, obviously, against six players because they can't really take advantage. But no. a bit careless. Um. Yeah, J5 was just referencing a, a feature request in the Blood Bowl 3 Discord, which, you know, some people might think was moronic. <laughs> I mean, it kind of has opened up a flank. He just doesn't actually have anyone to take advantage of. That's, <laughs> yeah. the and he's double That's why I said he can pick up on the Strength 5 Black oh, Ops. Oh, nah, you've, you've got you've got you've got to pick up on this guy because because you, you men down and this takes three players to hit him right so so yeah. so just by carrying on this guy it almost he almost trades three for one with the defense anyway so I quite I quite like you've got to pick up on him you just got to like I know what you say about strength five but the strength five will get bogged down he can be screened and he can dodge and he can blitz and move around and that it, it it's got to, it's got to yeah. be on him. Yeah, and, and these two strength fives can just be like titans, can't they? And uh, yeah. I don't like that they're next to each other, but they can they can no. really tie people up. Uh, if they if if that strength five was swapped with the other black oak, I think it'd be a lot stronger. Yeah, but he might be about to be cast anyway. <laughs> mm. But he would have had to put that zombie in. Yeah. Yeah. For that extra assist. He would have done, yeah. Well, this is only a KO. That's not terrible, except everything's terrible. <laughs> and 
stand firm, just keeping these two guys next to each other. This is why I would have loved to see stand firm on these strength five Blackhawks. He played yeah. a bit longer. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be quite yeah. a lot longer though, wouldn't it? 14 and 32. The yeah, other two Blackhawks were pretty close to levels, and there was a uh, Blitzer, I think, that was very close to a level as well. But yeah, it oh wow, well, that's a huge removal. Huge removal there. Incredible. So now it's the, suddenly there's only eight Necro, isn't there? Yeah. Six but they are a lot eight. faster than you. Six versus eight, but they're a lot they're a lot weaker, aren't they? There's only one strength four now. And the yep. rest are strength three, as opposed to everyone being four or five. <laughs> <laughs> God, work on that line, man. Just get removed so we can uh, get rid of all the strength three players. Yeah. Well, he's going to try. What, really? Sure, you hit the black hole. Yeah, he could have easily hit the black What What he could have done was, he could have just moved... He, he could have tagged in the front, and then with the zombie, and he could have had the wolf and the ghoul at the back, and then blitz the... with blitz the black... Black Oak. That's what I expected to happen, but he just he just didn't didn't do that. And that would have also got more threat on the ball as well, right? I don't know why he didn't buy one. Must be allergic. Misclick, maybe. Yeah, misclick. There you go. So, someone else must have had the controls for a bit. <laughs> Another one gone. Now it's seven versus six. This could turn into like a 1v1. Yeah, oh wow, completely cowering in the end zone, but it get, which he couldn't have done right if these guys had been three squares four. They would have put a lot of threat on the backfield. I think that was a big mistake, not blitzing that. I would have, I would have blitzed and, and piled on the uh, the the guard black up there for sure, hundred like a hundred percent. Doesn't get the knockdown. He's got a dodge. Rolls a one and nine. Oof, doesn't die. How has this wolf survived this long, making all these dodges? <laughs> it's something, isn't it? Oh, so now he finally gets to power and reposition the other strength five so they're not next to each other anymore. Oh, glorious. But it's just stuck on a strength four plot just so it's not not exerting a lot of influence, but at least at least they're not both stuck. And now he's actually got two two guys stuck on him potentially, hasn't he? So Like he definitely wants his strength five to, to get he, he wants each strength five to get two players stuck on his strength five, doesn't he? That's what he wants. Knocking the cooldown is huge. I won't. No, no, it doesn't need to. Gets the KO. We're down to five orcs. <laughs> Against seven Necro. What a crazy game. But he's not getting he's not getting into him, is he? Like that's the thing. Uh, that's why I really like that move to get those two downfield and that because he's gotta put pressure on him, like you know. I, oh I don't God. know what he's scared of. Is he scared of like him passing to a black orc and running down the field? <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? He's, he's only got the carrier as an option, so he should have come down and tried to win in normal time. Because, you know, Mordred is just trying to get the kicks right now, isn't he? Like, that's that's his only goal. He started with six players against ten. Now, somehow, it's six on six, isn't it? <laughs> somehow, it's six on six. He's removed him. For, oh, no, six on five on six. It's five on six. And it started as six on ten. <laughs> Was this the turn with the stun firm? I don't know, I think... Maybe not. I think he shouldn't have stood firm ever with him when he when he had two plays on him, but never mind. Oh, yeah. When he has to choose to follow up or free him up. Yeah, we've already done that, Chaos Welly. <laughs> yeah, like the safety, I think... I've, Obviously, it's easier to say now, but like, see there, you've got you, you just got to not stand firm, right? You've got to not stand firm here because you're just keeping two players on. Him. 
and now he can run forward and now there is a real danger like imagine if that hadn't stood firm real real bad stand firm like this turn last turn it wasn't so bad but this turn it was really bad Like uh, elves, I only need like four walks to win. I don't need uh, my whole team. Mm. I don't know what that was, so I don't want to click on it. I mean, don't just randomly post a link if, if you're a good person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Ooh. a removal. Strength four's gone, but there's only there's yeah. only three turns. This could have been like five turns. Ago. Yeah, I think he had to get the heat on earlier, but. He's got it now. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> and she's coming. Oh, he's got it. And he's... Way! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, 4 plus dodge works. Gets the pow! Oh boy, 4 orcs. Versus 6 necro. That lineman is a real winner, like how has he survived compared the to all the other skulls, orcs? Double skulls! <laughs> oh man! I oh, bet he's glad he didn't hit the wolf there, he would have got caught. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, so he puts in that, gets the hit on the black orc. Get the scatter, presumably. I don't think you can free it any other way. Another one gone! <laughs> god dang! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, <laughs> what a massacre! Three orcs on the pitch. Well, we've got a uh, another zombie for the next drive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the the girl can come round, pick it up, hand off. One reroll each in case it goes to kicks. Boy, howdy. What does, it, what does he even have here? Yeah, the block to get the guard in and then the dodge. Dodge yeah. around in 2D. It's going to be the hero lineman. He's got the dodge. Does he reroll? He does! He gets the power! Oh my oh, god! My. Oh my god! He kills him! <laughs> Three orcs and five necro! <laughs> Amazing! Oh wow, he just goes for the four plus pickup, four plus handoff. Uh, I don't think there's anything better against strength five, just What's gotta go two? for it. He didn't re-roll it! What? He didn't re-roll it! He didn't re-roll! Re-rolling? Why his, would you do that? He kept his re-roll for kicks! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he kept his re-roll for the kicks instead of using it to win the game. Well, I'm sure it'll be all good, Jim. I'm sure... This one we will save his life. It it does increase the odds of winning the toss, but it was it, winning the winning the cakes, but it was definitely better to reroll mathematically. He yes. absolutely should have done. See, okay, so that's how we roll. Oh, you're behind now, Muppet. So yeah, two, I'm a bit two one, two one to the orcs. Two one. Uh... Here comes the fleshy. Makes it two two. Oh. Lineman splits the uprights. <laughs> yep, squirrel. The white. He's messed it up. No. Oh what? Fire that white. The ox. <laughs> the ox somehow. <laughs> Four ox is all we need. <laughs> three. <laughs> three. Oh yeah, this one. Three ox is all we need. And. It's actually messed up the uh, replay here. So there you go. Oh. That's fun. It's made. <laughs> it 
it's, uh, it's, it's completely crashed the game there, going to kicks. But never mind, and that, that was the match. So, unbelievable. 21 AV breaks for the Necro. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> the Orcs took six cars. <laughs> and uh, somehow... Came out on top. Was the only poem of Dead Black Orc? Well, there you go. Yeah, they did it. They did it I mean, fair play. This game is proof that you, you should never give up in Blood Bowl. You've always got a chance. Yeah, yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Very, very scrappy. Wow, was it 76 to 50? It's not surprising. I mean, the Orcs are just so strong. And I mean, normally Necro make more blocks, right? Because of the frenzy. But they're just so strong. They were they were absolutely dominating mm. that. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Yeah, they didn't need any assist to hit anyone. They were just like, oh, someone's in front of me. I'll hit him. <laughs> Unbelievable. And uh, so there you go. What a match. Congratulations, Mordred. Commiserations, Diamed. Thank you very much, Muppet, and to PC for a bit before he... he I think he must have nished at some point there. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, maybe it was too long for him. He might have gone to sleep. Yeah, maybe. Thank you very much uh, <laughs> for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>